So today we're going to make pancakes, like British or European style ones that are slightly thick. Not the American really thick ones, but and not the really thin crepe ones. Um, but yeah, British style ones. So first you just sift the, um, the plain white flour into a bowl. You don't necessarily have to sift it, but it makes it, or sieve it, um, but it makes it a bit fluffier and a bit nicer. Um, I make um, pancakes, so whenever I'm doing any cooking, I do it by eye, so I don't really measure anything, but, well, I, I measure things in relation to each other, but um, not particularly um, for a certain amount of servings or so. Um, but yeah, I get like um, about in a in a bowl this large. I get about this much um, white flour in there, um, like so. And then also, I get about if this is 75% white flour, then I get um, about 25% of brown flour. It gives the pancakes um, a nicer texture and a better flavour too. So then I start sieving that in. Uh, but brown flour is um, is a lot bigger because um, it's more pure, purely wheat. Um, so you get the husks left in the sieve, and that's fine. You can put them in too, but if you want the the fluffiest, most perfect pancakes, then uh, you leave it in. Um, so yeah, you just keep on sewing, and as you can see, like this is just the husks, and this stuff here, the darker flour compared to the white, is um, the sieved um, whole wheat flour. And I don't normally like to waste anything particularly, but I'm going to uh, just throw away these husks because they don't give such a good texture or flavour. You just want the the sieved. Um, wholemeal flour, and I didn't exactly measure out 25% um, whole, whole wheat flour, wholemeal flour, but um, I think that's about enough. You can make uh, pancakes purely with um, plain, <laughs> plain white flour, and um, yeah, I just get about half a teaspoon of sugar in there, and I roughly get a little bit of salt in there just like um, to balance out the, the flour and the sugar and the salt and then I mix all of the dry ingredients together like so, a bit messy there but there we go and then I get a fork or something like that and make a little hole or a crater in the middle. And just put that to the side. And then I crack two eggs into the middle. And I'm terrible at cracking eggs. So let's see how this goes. Oh, that one went okay. And let's get another one. Wow. It's the first time for everything. And then I get the milk. I'm using uh, goat's milk because I'm actually allergic to um, cow's milk, but uh, of course you can use um, any milk you want really. Um, obviously cow's milk is standard. And then I, um, I, I've got the eggs in the middle in the crater and I've got the flour around it. And then I slowly pour the milk in to the, to the egg part and then start mixing. And then as I'm mixing in the milk, then I'm slowly mixing in the flour around it. And it can take quite a lot of um, milk really, but um, I've, this is a, a litre carton here, so I'm just slowly mixing it in. So yeah, just keep on doing that and keep on mixing in more and more flour as you keep on mixing in the milk I tend to make a lot of pancakes because I really really love them <laughs> and I like to share them too
and because I make so much then uh, sometimes I might even use more than a litre of milk because already we um, there's uh, still flour around the edges here and um, it needs to all be mixed in and you want a, a nice um, a nice mixture <laughs> basically it's the first time I've made a video like this so a bit nervous even though it's just pancake making yeah yeah um, the consistency as my lovely cameraman told me um, you have to get the consistency just right and you have to keep on mixing in, mixing in the flour until it's all completely mixed in um, like you can like scrape around the edges to make sure it's all in there and remember to like to beat like so like in a circular motion like so like if you're beating eggs or something like that um, but yeah this mixture is quite lumpy right now and um, it's, it's quite thin in that it like when you um, put the whisk through it, it, it dollops off, but it shouldn't be quite this thick. So just add a little more liquid to help with that. And then just keep on beating. consistency and all of the um, the flour is mixed in everywhere and when you like lift the sieve uh, not the sieve sorry the um, the whisk then it should just like slowly trickle off it this mixture is is quite liquidy actually um, usually or often it can be a little bit thicker than this and it'll be fine but um, it'll spread around the pan really nicely so yeah, you uh, so the next step for this is just to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to let it settle. I'm not exactly sure about the science of what that does, but um, it does help. And uh, when we come back, we'll fry this. So thanks. All right, so um, here we are. We've taken the mixture out of the fridge already. Um, we've already had this on for a few minutes. The the hub steaming. It's really hot. So we're just gonna get some. Um, oil in there and make sure the oil gets hot too and spread the oil around in the pan and just wait about 30 seconds it's on six it's really high not much to say really apart from hopefully we have some good pancakes here um, but yeah yeah so we've got a ladle and we get the pancake mixture in the ladle and we uh, angle the, the pan so we don't get any drips and then drop them in and then like rotate the pan around so that um, the mixture um, spreads out and then also you can get the oil to like rotate around the sides and I've forgotten my spatula so uh, let's see Hopefully, hopefully we have one. Uh, yeah, this will do. <coughs> and then you let it cook on one side, and hopefully, it's, the magic is happening under there. But if it isn't, um, then there's a lot of English myth saying the first pancake's always terrible. But yeah, then we can. Um, uh, change the mixture a little bit to make sure it is but let's see but yeah all of the the top of the pancake you can see is um like uh the mixture has been cooked so we just get under there and hopefully hey we've got a nice pancake on our hands nice and golden just like squash it down so the un the other side cooks
and it makes <laughs> ridiculous sounds when you push it down but then let it cook on the other side for about a minute or so but you can like you can like flip up the sides a little bit to just check and my phone is ringing so I'm just going to cancel that and ring them back in a moment Um, there's like these little bits which aren't quite done yet, so just give them like 20 seconds to finish. And this again. And yeah, it's done. So oop, it's uh, ripping a little bit, but there we go. And which you get some classic British topping is sugar and uh, lemon. So much wax on that on. It's quite a lot actually. Uh, and some lemon. And it's ready to eat. So yeah, that's how to make great pancakes.